G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Jobwordle, and welcome back to 7 Days, where I'm back in the infection world and watching the world burn down around me, because there are several things left undone that I need to go and, oh, g'day love, that I need to go and take care of before I can really wrap this up. Oh god, it's all going down. It's gonna jump back on my bike here and leave the screamers for their bonfire. Hope they've got a big old bag of marshmallows or something, because that is definitely some toasty business. So throughout this whole series, I have been running the compo pack. So all the custom POIs, the really big, the really scary ones, and everything in between. But for the most part, just because of the way the infection series worked, I didn't really get a chance to go and raid some of the really big and really scary ones. So I thought, now that the actual series proper is done, I'm kind of in like the epilogue, I suppose. I might go and have a cheeky whack at a couple of those big boys and see how I can go. Same rules always apply. Still have constant infection, spreadable fire, as you can probably figure out, and all the other things as well. But I'm going to go big or probably go home. Hopefully not in the pine box. I've just come back to the horde base to grab myself some extra ammo. I am really low on 9mm ammo. In fact, I'm basically completely out of it, which means my SMG is going to be a little bit out of your goal. A bit of a question mark on that one, but we'll see how we go. Need to come back and grab some ammo because I think the first POI on that list of, well, my to-do list, I suppose. You can see it out there. Well, the mountains that make it up. That theme park POI, that monstrous theme park POI, I've driven past it a bunch of times but never had the gnashes to have a crack at it. That changes today. I'm going over there come hell or high water or well, probably the former. Just chucking some of the necessities into Dini, my food, my water, uh, my ammo and stuff, all my antibiotics I need, my first aid, a plaster cast, some steroids, because after all, it is still me, and there's a lot of high areas in the theme park. Anything else in here that I really need? Sammy can stay behind. I might even take some extra repair kits with me, although... You know what, hold on to that for me, Deeds. You probably don't need all those repair kits. Not really planning on breaking my guns that quickly, but the rest of this stuff can all get left behind. Yep, no, nah, all right, sounds good. Got some ammo on me, my tools, all of my complement of weaponry. Gonna have to take the AK because I have no SMG ammo. All right, uh, I need to grab some crossbow bolts, which is just out of there. Thank you. I think we're as good as we're ever gonna be, Deeds. Ready for an adventure? I hope you are, because I'm not. There it is. Look at it. That's <laughs> It's going to take me a little while to get through all of this, I think. That is no small kettle of fish whatsoever. You can see why I didn't have a crack at it until now. So, all right, I guess we'll just follow the dirt path, park my gyro up out the front, and find our way inside. This, um... <laughs> This is, this is massive. This is bigger than any POI I've ever seen before. This is bigger than the Dishong Tower. Surely, way bigger than that. Even if it's like stretched out ver like horizontally instead of vertically. There's so much more to this. Look at this monstrosity. There's a couple of trader flags over there. Are there traders somewhere inside here? I wouldn't think so if there wasn't a couple of like a little speaky sign on the map. So maybe it's just there for decoration, which is fair enough. I would love to land my gyro on the roller coaster on the outside wall like it's Luna Park, but I might just plonk her down out here with some angry minions on guard duty. G'day, everyone. How are you? Good to see you. Would you let me in? I don't have a ticket, but I don't think there's much of a line. Please just let me in. Wow. Jeez, you're not bashful at all, are you? Got the tripod out the front standing guard as well. All right, fair whackers, knackers. Don't mind me. Just... <laughs> Well, yeah, no. Nah. All right. <laughs> I feel like this place is going to be on my level. Not quite difficulty wise, but maturity wise. There is some sort of rave going on over there. Look at that. There's like a. Someone's got some RGB lights. That's a pro gamer in the basement of that house. Fair enough. Just you. Bonk. Cop that for me, please. This is still on insane nightmare difficulties, so definitely don't want to underestimate what I'm doing. Probably should have brought some extra crossbow bolts, though, because I'm burning through them heckin' quickly. Still, uh-oh. I've got a bad feeling about Yeah, no, 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 me too, DD. Thank you for the heads up, but I'm just gonna have to whack away with machete as much as I can. There's a dingo over there nibbling on the bones of all of my conquests. Ah, uh, get your bleeding. Can you bleed out for me? Lovely. Copper over there as well. Yeah, definitely should have brought some more crossbow bolts, but too late now. Just do what I can and get it done. I suppose I'll just do the smart thing, which is rare for me, I know, and just try it. Oh. Yeah, no, that's fine. Saw you a little bit late there, Nance, but it's all right. Trying to work my way around the exterior of this joint and figure out what I'm up against. 
sit you down because look at all the zombies that have spawned. You're getting real uppity about it. There's a copper and a doggo down there. So while you beat on that, just got to quickly pop one right over your shoulder and take care of the hot fuzz in the background. Excuse me. Thank you. Very considerate of you. Clearing the way for me to murder all your friends. You'll get one in due course, but before then, murder everyone else first. I really want to just pop this guy with my Dolcha. And what I might do, because my my SMG is a little bit lackluster, I've actually got a fair amount of... Uh, well, it's not lackluster, rather. It's just got no ammo for it. I've got a fair amount of 40 form. So I might quickly go... I can't put the barrel extender mod on there while I, I can't put the suppressor on there rather, while I have the extender mod. But if I suppress my Dolcha and then just boop and then extra boop, that's hopefully nice and quiet so no one else will wake up. It's not quite as good as the crossbow, but still does a heck of a lot of damage and no spec in the pistols. Anything with ammo in it is better than not. You quickly not die from that, heck and rude. Did, did you just catch that DD or did I whiff the shot? I'll choose to admit no fault and instead shoot you. There we go. Deeds, you saw nothing. Please don't lose faith in me. I'm going to try and save the rest of my crossbow bolts because I don't have a lot of them. 26 of them to be precise, so that's not much at all. I'm going to try and save them for any rads or whatever where I need the most amount of damage I can possibly get. And for the rest of these guys, just go around and treat my Dolcha. I missed point blank flops. Treat my Dolcha like it's the 44 lever action out of Darkness Falls, which I absolutely bloody loved and I miss it every day. You cob that. Because that thing dropped, dropped all the zombies like it was nobody's business. You've woken up. That's fine. Just come over and get fed a little bit more. Sit up. Still not dead yet. That's why I wanted to save the crossbow bolts for it. Like, like five or six 44 rounds to one crossbow bolt. That's some easy math even I can do. Oh, there's no fence here. Oh, I almost just walked around that. Oh, g'day, buddy boy. Walked around that wall without nary a care in the world. DD, those are the things I need you to warn me against. My own muppetry. Well, in fairness, if you were, you'd be warning me every four seconds. Cop that. Oh, everyone's disappeared. Oh. There's a rad Arlene cruising around down there. And I can hear someone beating on something. Where did all the zombies go that were just here? Can you all spawn in again, please? I'd very much like to shoot every last one of you. Is this like a glitch or something? I feel like I'm not supposed to be here. Oh, oh big lag spike. But yeah, look. Sutton, Sutton's gone awry. This isn't right. This isn't good. That's very interesting. That's very weird. The game's broken. That's how big... Oh, there we go. That's how big this POI is. Kind of in keep up with itself. So I'm not super sure what to do about this broken bit. So I guess I'll just murder whatever I can find. Drop you. There's crawlers about. Cheeky headshots across the board for everyone. That's a long pill, but... I completely whiffed it. Whiffed it again. All right, maybe it's a bit far from my torch then. Never mind. Don't waste the ammo. Oh, just a whole, like, oh, a whole moat here as well. And so many zombie doggos. You're getting a bit ridiculous. That's too many. Yeah, no, I know, Deeds. Thank you, but look, this place is lousy with dogs. Yeah, look, there's something definitely a little bit sus going on. Things clipping out. Oh, cactus, things clipping in and out of existence. So I'm just going to go back around to the entryway and see if I can find my way in despite the POI's best efforts. Bonk. Took off your arm. That's fine. Took off your noggin as well. Nice and quick and sharp. You gone as well. All right. I've done the entire loop. I'll never be safer than I am right now, but I'm not very safe at all. <laughs> this is still making me giggle. This is still making me giggle so bloody much. It's out outrageous that they've done that. I can hear all sorts of noises coming from the minions, but I don't think it's because he's got gastro. Ooh, okay. There's also a ladder going up there. He's like, oh. No, it's still just nearby. Is this the way I go up? I'm not sure. There was a couple of doors over here in the old tripod. Unlock you. Anyone waiting for me inside? No, just to wait up. All right, hang on a second. I don't want to get myself caught out in like a claustrophobic area because movement is how you survive in this. I do have one full magazine of my SMG, which I'll hold on to for exactly that reason. Put you down. Don't what? Oh my god. Oh my god. That's the reason. That's the reason. Get you, Gooey. Get you down. Get you to the bottom of the ladder if I need to. I don't think they all died. There's 
Definitely a uh, an Arlene coming back for me again. So, gave you the wrong name. Don't get too cranky with me. Oh, yeah. All right, there's a lot happening up here. There's a lot happening up here. Might need to... Holy shit. Might need to start leaning on my shotgun a little bit. Can I open that door and get him out? There you go. Get you out. Come down here. I'll have to... Oh, just jump off the side if I need to. Oh, yep, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Oh, they're coming up the ladder as well. I've oh, got myself trapped. Got myself trapped immediately. Uh, I think just... Uh, over we go. Over we go. I need to get down that hole. I need to get back down the hole again. Up the ladder. Up the ladder. If all else fails, just up the ladder we go. Up the top. Can I fire and... Ow! Knock it. Vomit a lot. I'm hurt. I'm hurt a lot. I'm hurt a lot. I hear... I hear the heart attacks. Hold on. Hold on. Just drop down to him. Yep, yeah, that'll do. That'll do nicely. Get back down to the ground. Fix ourselves up. Try not to die. Find them on ground level. Holy shit, that went from zero to a million immediately. Oh, that's, um... <laughs> that's one way to do it, I suppose, copy boy. Just gonna put a couple of rounds in here. Did you get blown off the side by the, um, the copper having a heart attack up the top? Because if you did, I'm gonna say that was a tactical move by me. Definitely deliberate and didn't just... I mean, for a second now, I kind of played to throw myself off the side. I'm glad I didn't in the end. I hear a lot more footsteps up there. Real quick, Deeds, can I quickly grab you? Thank you. Chuck that in. Incoming enemy. Was, thank you. I was going to say someone sounds mighty close, but managed to make it work. Where's the rest of them? Where are the rest of them gone? Are they all, like, making their way down the ladders or something? Well, there's a spider up there. That's an interesting place to be. Boop you. I don't know where they are. Not knowing where they are is way more terrifying. Oh, I'll take it back. Actually, being trapped up there was way more terrifying. I definitely think that leaning on the Dolcher a bit more is the right move. It's got a lot of damage per round and less frame prey than what the SMG is going to be. But if you guys wanted to give me some cheeky 9mm rounds, I wouldn't say nah. Wouldn't throw that one back with the rest of the fish. Anyone else around? I can still hear a spider squealing at me. No one here. Are you all just like... Are you trapped in here? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, that's fine with me. If you want to get in like a nice little shooting gallery for me. That's... Oh, jeez. You, um... Are you... <laughs> is that a glitch in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? Jeez, this entire POI apparently is his dicks all the way down. I think I've managed to kill most of them. It's all nice and quiet up here. Um, lesson learned though. When shit kicks off, go down. Don't go up and get yourself trapped. Just go down and get the job done. It's pretty good life advice, actually, for most applications. This is, like, the control room. Don't know what you're looking at, but all right, fair enough then. Old mate is up here controlling the world. How do I get to the next... Oh, here we go. This is how I get to the next bit. All right, Josh, what did you just say? When shit kicks off, go back down. Make sure all my guns are loaded. No 9mm ammo. I might actually move the Dolt Shutter oh, to slot 2. You can go like that. You can go like that. I'm more likely to pull out you. Open up the hatch of death. Anyone going to yell at me? No yelling. No yelling up here. Okay, interesting. The worst case here is if I get trapped and I can't go back down the hole again. Can't get up there. Can't go around here. So what? What's the point of coming up here then? Where do I go to now? Wherever am I actually? One Wonderland. Wonderland Stallions. Stallion's Den? All right, fair enough then. Not really a, a catchy name, but a name all the same. This might be a little bit dicey, but I want to go down and get on the minion's head. So, yep. Oh, oh, shit. I thought I was sliding down. Like, I was just super fun, happy sliding into Mr. Burns' lair, but no, nah, that's right. We can get some grip on it. Open you. Knock, knock. Anything going on inside your big melon over here, your big banana? No one here. No, oh, this is way too quiet. Ooh, a forge and a cement mixer. Uh-oh. I was going to say, I heard zombie noises. Don't see any zombie noises just yet. It's going to be a big fight up the stairs when they do finally find me. Where? What? Where is everyone? Something spawned in, but I don't know where. Oh, it was probably those ones down there, actually. Ooh. You're still alive. You won't be for long, though. Let's just zoom in and boop. Boop that one. Uh, yeah, you can die too, because why not? It's a feral. I haven't tried to save my crossbow bolts, but whatever. Didn't die from it. There was a juicy headshot, and he's still, like, absolutely not. But the second one sorted you out. 
All right, then. That's all good. Let's go check the other minion. Do you reckon there's going to be gubs at the top of this? I reckon there will be. It's worth a shot at least. Oh, my God. It's going to take like a week to get through this whole place. This minion's got some windows. It's a bit of an airhead, but someone's been living here for a while. No hatch either. I like these like little secrets around the place. Nothing in you. You got any like crossbow bolts or anything of use for me? Any snacks, any fluids, anything I can use? Chrysanthemum, not especially. Still rolling with the 50% loot, so not really expecting much. But hopefully with the higher game stage being on uh, Insane Nightmare, it might actually give me something along the way. Cheeky Vendo, nothing in there. You are broken. Any froths? No froths, right? That's just rude. Came all this way to give me donuts. Not even donuts. Both the minions had absolutely nothing for me, which is a shame. Uh, back on the ladder and back up and out again. It's already half past seven. I spent the entire day walking around the outside of this joint and trying to clear out the entryway. It's been a, a whole bloody thing. Let's go back to you and go back to where I started. I want to try and get up there. There's got to be a way up there. Either a ladder or I'll build my way up like I'm digging for treasure. How can I do that? Can I, like, can I actually cut my way through? What do you reckon it's made out of? Please don't be concrete. No, just relatively weak iron. Okay, this might work. It might be two or three thick, but I'm willing to put in the hard yakka, which is unusual for me to say. Come on, stamina. Come on, stamina. Stay with me. Only a couple more swings. Ooh, that'll do. Some things are broken, but that's all right. A sacrifice I'm willing to make. Up we go. Anyone here? Anything interesting? Anything fun? Nah, nada. So which door do I use to get in? It's like an eeny, meeny, miny, mo situation. There's no purple door, which is a bloody outrage, that is. I'm going to take that straight to my member of parliament and then up to the prime minister. Oi! Andy! I got something to report to you. Some larrikin is out here not using the best color in the game, which is just an egregious error. You are locked. You are unlocked. Oi! Can I get some service, please? Can I buy tickets? No, not to you, Arlene. That's a ride I've been on many times before. I wanted another ticket to ride that one. How do I get into this bloody place? Well, I suppose if I can't get a ticket, these guys will just cave the wall in and get me in that way. Whatever works, I suppose. Sit you. Put you down as well, please, Paparino. Got one round left. A quick reload on the Dolger is so bloody good, though. Drop. Proper drop. Oh, yeah, here comes a couple more. I mean, if you all want to make your way around to the last little hole in the wall over here, like I'm part of the hole in the wall gang out in Utah somewhere, that'd be nice and lovely. Anyone else coming for me, dudes? What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Anyone here? Hello? Yeah, there we go. I heard some tippy tappies. I heard some moaning and groaning. Everyone, please come out the front. All right, I reckon I'm just going to have to do it the more uh less or the, the more stealth, less stealthy way and try and just break my way in now where i don't usually like breaking through walls and stuff because it means like it ruins the flow of the py and i end up in places i'm not supposed to be at which i think is here can i go around this way oh yeah now here we go this is a way in there's lots of footsteps around but also a rad all the way down there. Someone's thrown out a perfectly good radiated zombie. Hold on. Right there. I thought that was a corker of a pill, but wasn't to be. Hold on. Try again. Oh, I gave her a tickle. Oh, shit. I just made her mad. Where the dickens did you come from? Oh, there's a whole like hole in the wall over there. All right. Never mind. Never mind. That's just me not paying attention again. Who would I thunk it? I'm going to have to find somewhere at least. Oh, there's a bulletproof stairs. At least a little bit safe to try and put myself down for the... Oh, God. For the night in. They're all coming. Just run back around here. Let them all come up to the little like slot of death over here. Excuse me, Deeds. You're kind of right in the way. And I don't want to accidentally put around through you. You're my bestest friend. And that's not the way you treat your friends. There's one up there. Little bit of a tickle, get you down and finish you off. Hard to see, but I promise I hit you. I hate the stairs being bulletproof. Makes it so much more difficult than it needs to be. Drop and one in the knee. Hold on. Damn it. <laughs> I wasted my opportunity by having to reload. I need to find somewhere safe. It's almost night time. I need to find somewhere to stock up, but there's not a <gasps> there's not a lot going on for me. Oh, thank God. The God, this Dolch is actually really good. I'm going to try and just take out that Rad Arlene and succeed. That's why I still got the crossbow. Wish I had more bolts, but too late. You can cop that one. 
And then you can cobble that one. The Dolch is doing great work. Bonza, mate, level 70. You got a skill point to spend. I'll be right with you. Gone. I don't know if I'm missing anything else. There's a lot of bodies around. And which ones are not really alive? Which ones are still zombified? Which ones are properly dead? I do not know. Uh, Any more? I'm getting a little bit bold, a little bit brave, a little bit silly. That's one. Couple of rounds into you. That's all fine. Oh, Doggo. Doggo scared me more than anything else. Make sure those ones go down first. Gone and... Hold on a second. And gone. Oh, less gone. Less gone. There's more coming. There's more coming. And it's about to be night time. Not that it really matters because they're already maximum damage and maximum speed already. But even so, night time is still scary. I can hear just so many footsteps and so... Oh, okay. And so many things breaking all over the joint. That really needs to be on my A game. If I even have an A game, now is not the right time to be finding that out. Oh, okay. Well, they're going to come out first. I suddenly hit the copper at the back by accident. Oh, dodge you. Good running, good gunning, and <laughs> shit shooting to go along with it. Drop. Just... Oh, hang on. Aim for center mass because you're a shit shot the rest of the time. Finish off with that one. Good shooting text. They're all coming out to say good day to me. Good day to you too. How are you bloody going? Definitely dead. No one in there I can hit. Oh, I can hear beating. I can hear running. Oh, there's... There's a wandering horde. Are you shitting me? Of all times to send a John Normus wandering horde after me is right at the end of the day in a big fuck off theme park. That's just rude. That's just rude. Uh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Just try and play it smart. Try and line up some headshots. Use a hip fire because I don't want to waste the stamina aiming down the sights. Shit shot. Got that one. Quick reload. Thank God for the quick reload on the Dolchum. Fucking no shit there, Deeds. Thank you for that one. Ow. I'm panicking. I'm panicking and I'm whiffing. Get your shotgun out if you need to. All right, run. Reload. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Missed it. Can you hit any side of any barn, please, Josh? You're really not doing yourself any favors here. You dead? You are now. Where do the rest of them go? They can't be all. There's definitely more down here somewhere. Yeah, here comes the rest of them. Oh, that's a nice juicy line, though. DD, excuse me. Kind of wish I had the penetrator perk going for right now, but not to be. Order some penetrating ammo. That was a bold shot, but I think I made it work. I definitely made that one work. Light it up. Gone. Not gone. Keep an eye on your ammo, please, Joshy boy, because otherwise you're going to get yourself skewered like a barbecue. Definitely more out that way. Some more down here as well. There's just so many. There's just so many. How can I keep up with them all? I did bring extra ammo that's currently... What the dickens are you doing, Jigglypuff? Apparently you Neo... Oh, for goodness sake. Apparently you Neo, because I can't hit you at all. Did bring extra ammo and DD if I need it. There's another one. Oh, he dodged it well. Why do they keep running away from me? Jeez, I can't even get a nibble when I'm out in the zombie apocalypse. It's not the worst version of fishing ever. A couple more have made it outside the gates, apparently. I thought I heard some footsteps behind me. Probably in a big carousel of stairs over there. Might even try and conserve a little bit of ammo and get some old good old melee going. Sit you. Ow, what? You weren't even swinging your old salami sticks and you're still clobbing me. That's just heckin' bloody rude there, Nance. Get wrecked, get sizzled, get bled, whichever one you uh, desire. I don't really mind too much. Get you cooked up as well. All right, now we're Dyson. Now we're cooking. We're Dyson. We're doing all sorts of julienne. God as well. This is good. This might be... Oh, it's not the Dodgem cars or bump-up cars. I thought it might be, but it's something I don't recognize at all, actually. Uh, that cop is dead. That's fine. Yep, catch you later, bud. That one's not dead, though. Quick round into you. The rain is cleared and the night got a little bit brighter. Apparently, my, that's about my range then. Please don't break the supports or whatever's above me. I don't want to come down and around me. Gone. I've burned through like 200 rounds of 44 ammunition. I'm spitting it out like a sick seagull. No one else. This is where the world kind of decided to nah. All right, fair enough then. Gone. Gone and gone. Oh, less gone. Got you eventually. Yeah, no, nah, thanks, Deeds. I'm just a shit shot all of the time. Maybe this is supposed to be Dodgem cars. Like, there's little, like, sofas in here. They're just the biggest bloody bumper cars you've ever seen in your life. 
No other, no like hatches or anything, nothing around. No, okay, I think we're good. It's now just after midnight and I've done what? It is entire day. Yes, I got around the outside of it, like I'm a trailer park girl, but I've done two minions, a big spire, and a dodge from cars area. I've barely even scratched the surface of this joint. I've picked a fight with another couple of zombies. That's all fine. I mean, look, I have a drawbridge here that I can use. <laughs> what you gonna do now? We riddle me that one if you wouldn't mind, you unstirred tub of butter. You cop that one nice and quick. Old mates had a bit of a stumble. Don't really blame you. I was waggling me door at you a whole bloody bunch. So those ones out there keep like respawning in and then despawning because moving out here, I leave the POI so they go away. I'll just leave them out there though. They're not bothering anyone. Who else is here? It's raining, it's drizzling, and it's altogether not very inviting. I need to clear this joint to feel like I've done something. I see a copper, some food, some meds. Uh, I can't see the copper's noggin though, so getting a juicy hedge on you is going to be a problem. I'll go like that then, get a lot of damage. Fold up with a 44 and put your faith in it, because apparently it works like an absolute treat. That's more of a treat than a fresh pavlova. Gone. Any other zombies around here? I don't think so. A bolt back out of you. It's very important to me. Quickly grab what I can of you. Any snacks? No snacks. I'll take those though. I will need us more antibiotics. What is going on over there? There's like waterfalls and shit. Shit's wild at the theme park. Oh, uh, I know what this is. I know what this is. This is like the big pirate ship thing. The thing that swings back and forth. Mr. Petruda the make of the pirate ship, but that's okay. Can I get in? No, apparently there's some sort of thin film. There's some sort of force field keeping the ants out of the sandwich. Probably a window. But uh, yeah, no, all right, fair enough. No zombies inside. All right, Deeds, you know what? I think we've done enough for today. Let's go find someone to camp out and call it a night. It's going to pick up again in the morning. There's still so much more to go. All right, look, it may not be much, but at least it's somewhere. I do need, after all that shooting, I need to repair my, uh, my Dolce and also grab some more ammo for it. So I'll grab you. Probably do with some more at some point, but that's fine. Grab that. That's how many zombies I've killed today. My Dolce, my gun is almost broken. Burned through so much ammo. I'll quickly eat you. Get some water and some food into me. Uh, I'm actually more hungry than I am thirsty. So chucking some steak and spuds as well. All right. Well, I'm about as good as I'm ever going to be to keep on uh, chucking on tomorrow morning. That was, ooh. What did that do? I don't know. It might have opened or something, but who knows what? All the other doors are still up and working. That was a lot more than I anticipated. So I'm going to have to come back and continue trying to push through the rest of the theme park. This might take more than two days. This might like take like half a week to get through. This is bloody ridiculous. I spent a whole day here already and barely got anywhere. Well, I'll have to come back and hopefully get a little bit further in another episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons the Patreon who made this episode possible if you liked me make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel follow me on twitter if i don't talk to you there first i'll see you in the next episode have a good one